Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video over a look that I created a while back on my Instagram. Share the picture, I'll be sharing it somewhere here. But it's gonna be a minty green fairy look ish. I'll be sharing everything with you guys. For everybody that is new, welcome. My name is Becky. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and to everybody that is the subbies welcome back thank you guys for the support let's go ahead and jump right in so i already went in and kind of did my eyebrows just because we don't really need much attention on there i'm gonna get a little up close and personal there so i just kind of went in with my eyebrows to and concealer just to kind of shape them just a little um they're not really done but i just kind of wanted that form and shape up my eyebrows going before I start doing, you know, the shadows and stuff. Go ahead and jump in and put some uh, shadow base here. I don't even know how I created that look. Is that funny? Y'all, my hairline is always acting out. Like, who are you? Mind you, this is like, even with hairspray. I'm gonna start off with a base. Go in with this little bad boy right here because it's a neutral. I don't really need, you know, too much to it. I'm going to put it on my eyebrow bone. Let me show y'all the eye look that I created. And that way we know what we're jumping. We're getting ourselves into. So this is the eye that I created. So... Um, yeah, it has a little bit of minty-ish teal colors. So another palette that I'm going to be using as well is the Urban Decay Alice Do the Looking Glass. Just because I am going to need some of these bad boys right here. So I'm probably going to be using these right here. Just to kind of get me somewhere. So I'm going in with the shade Head Overall. I'm just going to put it all over the eyelid and start here. And in that eye, I just did the inner corner cut crease. I'll go in afterwards and cut it. And I'll... I remember using a mixture of the shimmers and the James Charles and the 39A palette. So I'll be going in with that after. If I have to go in again to stack it or make the color a little more vivid, then I will. I'm not really trying to transition this to nowhere, but keep it in place and just have it diffuse and blend there. Now I'm going to take a concealer brush and kind of cut that out there. Sometimes with these, when you're doing the cut crease, it's better if you just like stamp, go in and stamp it. Like to basically create your guy line. I'm gonna drag it down after. After that, I'm just gonna take a flat brush and then go ahead and mix in a few of the shadows. So I'm gonna start off with the lighter one, which is gonna be on the James Charles palette, which is this. I'll go ahead and list the names underneath, but it's gonna be like a baby blue. I'm gonna start with something lighter and then just deepen it as I go and stack it up on each other so so these brushes that are a little more on the flat side you have a little bit more of control once I'm done with that one I'm gonna go in with the 39a palette and go in with just go in stack it right on top Okay, so I'm just going to go and jump in onto my other eye.
I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation. Take it to the ears. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take one of my all-new favorite products, which is the e.l.f. Hydrated Camo Concealer. I love this concealer. They're very easy to work into the skin and then even I'm more of a tan like that's what I normally like. I love bronzers. I love any type of tanning. So that's my always go to look for the most part. But the good thing is that you can always go ahead and take the concealer and brighten it up. You know, like once they kiss, it's just real pretty how it appears still they're not gonna stick or stain the skin gives you some time to work it in and i'm gonna take my elf beauty blender this is also one of my favorites recently that i had to get my hands on as you can tell i've been using it <laughs> Okay guys, for the most part, we're done. We're really just gonna do some mascara and pop some lashes and then just put some lipstick. Gonna go in and take my Morphe Sweet Tea Liner, Lip Liner. Look how small this has gotten. This one, probably my favorites. If you guys don't have a nude lip liner, get you some. I think this is probably like one of their top sellers. So I probably should start getting it follow on. Okay, there we go. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a boo. Oh, my favorite pink is this Morphe Wifey. And I think I had it on my purse and I don't know if it melted, but uh, go ahead and have a little mascara moment here. Oh, my ring light decided to die on me and it's battery operated, so I said bye. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of highlighter from the same palette that I was using from BH Cosmetics. Some Athens here. Contemplating it to put lashes or not. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and pop these bad boys on and then I'll be back. All right, guys. Well, this concludes the look for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be listing all the products down below. Hope to see you guys next time. <laughs>